the house scene was not a very long sequence, but it took a lot of time to actually film. You have to do the storyboards and the, uh, the shot composition diagrams, and um, it takes a lot of planning. And then on set, things go wrong, things don't look quite the way you want it, you have to worry about the lighting. Um, so even the tiny shots can take a really long time. Yeah, it's surprising you wouldn't actually think that uh, all the, the work that we do all boils down to such a small uh, scene when we're all done. You work on it for a very long time and you get home and it's only 30 seconds. Shot diagrams are really important uh, because it helps you establish exactly where your camera's going to lie. So he's on the bus. But also, um, so this is it's really important and, uh, because then you uh, can actually pay attention to your, to your axis. Two. Because if you cross that line, um, it gets really confusing from the viewer's point of view. The at the time when we wrote the script, uh, we didn't have uh, these places kind of really planned out. So we started uh, estimating what the shots would look like, and how we did that was uh, to draw like an overhead map of what the scene was going to look like and draw the uh, actors and the camera angles and stuff like that. And basically it just gave us a sense of what we were going to be doing before we actually got there that day. That way we didn't have to uh, get there and just kind of hope for the best and hope everything looked right and get home and figure out you're breaking a bunch of rules. After the shot diagram, we moved to storyboarding, which involves showing where the character is going to be and what the scene is going to ultimately look like. George did an amazing job on the storyboards. You know, the little squares on the paper are basically what you want to see through the viewfinder of the camera on the day of, and uh, they help a lot when you're planning out the shots. They help things move a lot quicker on the day of. I kind of drew the storyboards to give a sense of where the actors would be within the, uh, within the set, and of course where your line of view would be. Um, so basically there kind of gives us a sense of where we need to set up our cameras, where the actors would be, how they would look at each other. Basically the day of, you look at the, at the piece of paper in the square and you look at the viewfinder. If they're not the same, you change it, and if they are, then you shoot it. There you are. I put $100 down on Lilac Chaser, paid off 50 to 1. When we're shooting the film, we use the storyboards to know which shot we have to take. So we start with the first storyboard that we have for this particular scene, and we keep doing that till we have the right take. And then once we have that take, we have another storyboard generally for the same action, just so we have a different angle on it. The first time we try and go out and, and do a shot, the first take that we get is probably not gonna be the best one. So we'll always go back and, and do at least two or three different variations on the shot. Uh, hopefully to try and get uh, something interesting to work with in editing. The shooting process was, uh, was fun because we would go in, set up, and then we run through. Then after that particular take, if we've got something good, then we would go to another direction and we would run through the same thing again. Editing is kind of where everything falls apart and comes back together in a whole new way sometimes uh, because you have pretty much freedom to do whatever you want in that process with the footage that you have. Editing's tough. Basically, you go through the script and the storyboards and the shot list, everything that you have, and try to make the story that you've written and make it cohesive and understandable. When you are editing, to change the angle, what you want to do is you want to match frame. Basically, what you do is you go in with both the shots that you want and you find where one transitions to another by some sort of movement, like a door opening, and you want to match that just right with the door open because that's something that someone's going to notice. Say he's in the room with the door already open, you're going to be like, all right, well, when did he open that door that much? So you want to get it just right so it looks seamless and doesn't feel awkward. We just see her back of her head, right? Yeah. You wouldn't believe how much it takes so for just a small scene over, from can, uh, um, storyboarding to setting up the lighting, the filming, the editing. It's a lot of work that goes into something that seems as simple as, uh, as five minutes of film. It's funny because when you start shooting the actual movie, like the first few shots, you don't even realize how much work goes into it to get it right, the way you want to look at it takes time.